Hi friends, in this session we will see about how to find the median of raw and ungrouped data. So let us take a look on this uh, procedure how to get the median of these data. Uh, there are three steps we have to follow here. First step is arrange the data in ascending or descending order. First of all you have to uh, arrange the data in ascending or descending form. Step 2 is compute cumulative frequency and step 3 computation of median. We are uh, doing only for raw and ungrouped data. We see here the first if n is odd the total number of data is n which is odd the median would be the value of n plus 1 over second term. Now if n is even, if the total number of terms are even, then median is equal to value of n by second term plus value of n by second plus one term over two. So I had to take the average of these two terms we get the median. Here first of all I would like to explain how to get the median of raw data. Look at this question. Here is calculate the median of marks obtained by 20 students. The marks obtained by 20 students in a particular subject are given. We have to find out the median of this data. So how we will get it out? First I draw a line here. I give the numbers to these all. So I draw a line here first. And the line I am drawing here. Uh, I am writing down the serial number in here. The number data and if the data is given to us, the marks is given to us. Marks denoted by small n. Let us see how we follow this. This is our first data, number one. This 25 here. You see, it's 25. Number second. Is 28, number third is 29, number four is 30, number five is 32, number six is 33, number seven is 35, number eight. 40, 25, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, again 40, 32 times here, then number 8 is 35, number 9 is 42, and number 10 is 45. Now, serial number again I am putting here for remaining data. Serial number is here. Draw another line here. The marks uh, here. Sorry. Marks has has done the marks. Seven X. 
here number 11 we have number 11 is 46 number 12 is 47 number 13 is 48 number 14 is 51 number 15 is 52 number 16 is 50 17 is 54 18 is 60 19 is 65 and 20 Now we make the total of these. Make the total of these. We get the total of all the numbers. We get total is uh, no need of total in medium. So we have got this here. So we know that n n is twenty. The total number of data is twenty. This the data is given to us, but it is not. Uh, uh, it is already in ascending order. All the data you see: twenty-five, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, and it is in ascending order. So no need to. Uh, arrange this data in ascending or descending order already is in ascending order. So we know that if the total number of terms are E1, then this formula we have to follow. If n is E1, the median is equal to value of n by second term plus value of n by second plus one term over two. So I'll put here median. is equal to value of 20 over second term plus value of 20 over second plus one term over 2. So I will get here value of 10 term plus value of 11 term over 2. 10 divided by 2 we get 10 and 10 divided by 2 we get 10, 10 plus 1, 11 term. So the value of 10 term, so let us let uh, take a look of this. The value of 10 term is 45 and the value of 11 term is 46. We had to put 45 plus 46 over 2, which is equal to 91 over 2 which is equal to 45.5 marks this would be the median marks of the student of this class obtained by this so in this way we could find out the median of uh, raw data if the raw data is even then we have to put in this work otherwise in future we the total number of data is odd. So this is a way to find out the median. Now take a look of another question for ungrouped data. Take a look of ungrouped data. Here you see from the following data find out the value of median. Pocket expenses is given in rupees. 10, 15, 8, 20, 25, 18 and number of children is also given 12, 13, 8, 10, 3 and 5, 3 and 15, 5. So first of all you see x is not in ascending order. We have to arrange this data first in ascending order by step 1 we have to follow here. So 
So first of all, we draw some lines here. and third line for commuting. So one horizontal line here and one horizontal line. There are three columns we have to use here. Uh, Start uh, expenses is given to us. Expenses is given to us. And the frequency number of children. Called frequency denoted by small s, and we have to find the cumulative frequency. frequency is denoted by C S. So I write down the data now here. Uh, we have to arrange this data in ascending order. So the smallest value is 8. So I put first here 8. Okay. The frequency of this is also 8. Then second data is 10. The frequency of 10 is 12. Third data is uh, 15. The frequency of 15 is 13, fourth one is 18, the frequency of 18 is 15, fifth one is 20, the frequency of 20 is 10, then 25, the frequency of 25 is 10. This is the data we have, now what we have to do, we have to find the cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency is 8, is we have to put here 8. Then 8 plus 12, this 8 we have to put here, change the color here, we have to make the summation of these two, it would be 12, 12 plus 8, it is 20 now, 20 plus 30, what we are doing, we are adding this, we are getting this, plus, now here, we are getting this, 20 plus 13, it is now 33 plus 15 we get here 48 plus 10 58 plus 3 61 so here we get the total number of data is 61 61 is our n is our and here the total number of data is the total summation of all the frequencies is 61 here. 61 is an odd number. So we have to follow this one formula for this. The value of n plus 1 by second term if n is odd. Median here. Median is equal to value of n plus 1 by second so here you see we get here the value of n is 61 plus 1 over 2 so we know that n is 61 here so the value of 62 over second term. Now you 
see value of 31st term. The 31st term, the value of 31st term, how we get? There is no 31st term is in complete frequency, but the 31st term is greater than 20 and less than 30. The value of this 31st term would be 50. Let us see. Let us see the value of 31st term is 15 now. This would be the median of this data. In this way, we could easily find out the median of ungrouped data. This is our median of 